Electric utilities are increasing their use of carbon-free energy resources. As the grid gets cleaner, electrification of heat is becoming a must for reducing the carbon footprint of commercial buildings. Train's thermal battery storage source heat pump system provides an innovative way to electrify heat by storing today's waste energy for tomorrow's heating using ice. Let's find out how it works. The easiest way to explain it starts by looking at an HVAC system diagram and the different zones it serves. Occupied spaces in large commercial buildings generally have two main HVAC system zone types interior zones and perimeter zones. Within the interior zones, heat caused by internal loads, like people and plug loads, builds up. That heat must be removed by the cooling system year-round. In the perimeter zones, the space just inside the building's envelope, heat must be either added or removed, depending on the season or even the time of day. An air-to-water heat pump is located here, where it has access to ambient outdoor air, this equipment's job is to extract heat from the outside air, even when it's cold outside. Back inside, we find the chiller heater, also known as a non-reversible water-to-water -water heat pump. It transfers internal heat gains to warm up the perimeter zone or domestic hot water. In other words, it reclaims heat from one place to repurpose it in another. The final, and possibly the most important part of the system, is the thermal energy storage tank which stores ice. Ice is simply water with the heat removed from it. So when ice is used to cool a building, it is actually absorbing excess heat from the building to cool it. Easy enough to understand. And here's the unique part. When ice melts, it's storing thermal energy in the form of cold water that can be used to heat buildings. So just as the chiller heater can remove heat from the interior zones, it can also remove heat from the water in the storage tank, turning it into ice for use to heat the perimeter zones. The water stored in the ice tank is the source of heat for the building, hence the generic name Storage Source Heat Pump System. Let's review. The system is using electricity to heat the building from three different heat sources. First, the chiller heater reclaims all of the excess heat from the interior zones and moves it to the perimeter zones. Next, if there is not enough reclaimable heat within the building, the chiller heater removes heat from the water in the ice tanks, making ice, and then uses that removed heat to warm the perimeter zones. Finally, if more heat is needed, the air-to-water heat pumps are brought on to extract heat from the colder ambient air, which is utilized to warm the perimeter zones even further. So, no matter what the conditions are outside, all of the building zones are kept comfortable even on cold winter days. Now, you might be wondering, how do you melt the tanks of ice when they have no more heat to give? Good question. Instead of using free cooling, also known as airside or waterside economizing, to cool interior zones in the winter, we use ice to cool the zones. The goal is to make water, so the heat is stored and available later for heating. Another way to melt the ice is by using an air-to-water heat pump to take heat from the ambient air. This mode of operation allows ice tanks to add flexibility and value to the system. Thermal storage allows you to decouple when you collect heat from when you actually need heat. Think of the tanks as an ice battery for storing thermal energy. In each one of the most popular sized ice tanks, we use about 2 million BTUs when taking 40 degree Fahrenheit water to 28 degree Fahrenheit ice. 2 million BTUs is equivalent to 14 gallons of oil used for heating. So, as odd as it may sound, there's a lot of heat available in cold water. Heat that can be reclaimed when we turn it into ice. Let's explore the two other components that make the storage source heat pump system a hyper-efficient solution. The dual compressor, dual circuited series R chiller from Train is highly reliable and efficient. Its flexibility comes from a wide operating map combined with great turndown capability. Smaller models are designed to fit through single width doors, while full size models fit through double doors. Train's Ascend Air to Water heat pump has been through extensive and comprehensive testing under a variety of operational scenarios, such as defrost, cold, and hot starts. It is assembled with two independent refrigeration circuits per unit for improved reliability and resiliency. All this while achieving energy-efficient electric heating and cooling. 
All of these equipment components work together as a system as efficiently as possible, thanks to the power of train controls. Make train your source for electrified heating, including equipment, controls, service, professional support, and innovation like ice heating. Learn more at train.com.